In your opinion, what is the best Stephen King book? The Stand, November 22, 63. I lasted about 24 hours of withdrawal after finishing it for the first time before I had to go back and start it over. This man has written a ton, and has sharpened his ability to a level of competence and skill that most of us will never achieve in anything in our lives, and it shows. It's funny that I'm a huge horror fan, that horror is what made me a Stephen King fan in the first place, but the book of his that stuck with me the most is the one least like what he's known for. Though, make no mistake, the DNA of a horror writer is absolutely in that book as well. The Long Walk. It. Misery. The Talisman is the most underrated. Wizard and Glash. It's one of the only novels that's ever brought me to tears. Three amazing books came before it in the Dark Tower series, we barely learned a thing about Roland at this point, and the first major thing we learn about him is the epic, heartbreaking tale he tells in this novel. The drawing of the three is more iconic, but W and G was more sprawling, colorful and unforgettable for me personally. And I choose different seasons. It has the Shawshank Redemption story, Apt Pupil, and the Stand By Me story. The Long Walk. Edit. Wow. Thanks for the gold. The Shining. And it was way, way, way better than the movie. Pet Cemetery. I love a lot of his stuff but I keep going back to it, it's so deliciously creepy, I sometimes have to put it down for a bit because of how creepy it is. To be fair I haven't read a lot of his books but I absolutely love November 22nd 63. I love Needful Things. I enjoyed Salem. I really like Duma Key. Seems like it hardly ever gets mentioned. The Eyes of the Dragon. I'm actually surprised this hasn't made the list yet. Same with Insomnia. The Green Mile. It is one of the few novels I have read multiple times. It stays with me for weeks. It is the most beautifully written book I have ever read. Carrie. Finished it in a night because I couldn't stop reading. Daryl. The Drawing of the Three. I really enjoyed Insomnia personally. The Mist. The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. One of my favorites and really underappreciated. It's creepy because it can and has happened to anyone. Well, except for the implied supernatural parts, anyway. Other than that, I prefer his short story collections, like Everything's Eventual, The Skeleton Crew, For Past Midnight, and Night Shift. Kujo is very good. How can someone write 600 plus pages on a woman trapped in a car with a rabbit dog outside? I also agree with the poster who suggested November 22nd, 1963, I found it hard to put that one down. And I just say the Dark Tower. King himself considers it one long novel split into seven, now eight and possibly more if you include the novella and comic books, parts. If I had to pick a favorite I would probably say the Wolves of the Cala or the Wildlands. It, then the stand, followed by the Dark Tower series. Lizzie's story, a beautiful story about grief and recovery of a woman who lost her love. All others saw the celebrity not the human being he was. Covers mental illness, terror and fear, and pure love. Written for Tammy, freaking gorgeous book. It, emo, it scarred me for life. Shouldn't have read it as a child. To be a bit contrarian, on writing is the best thing he's written. Different Seasons is incredible too as a book of short stories. In no particular order, The Gunslinger, Misery and The Stand are his best novels. Egg and Bones, gets better as you read it. The Dead Zone, absolutely amazingly creepy. And considering the plot dot 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 the book everyone should read for 2020 if they haven't yet. I've always been partial to The Stand, it's such a strong book, though it is quite meaty. I love the short story chapters in between that show people living through the pestilence. Stephen King has too many great books to pick a favorite. It. So. Very underrated. 2020, not finished yet though. Got to be under the dome, I loved how it went into detail about the different characters' lives and all the individual problems they were dealing with. I'm not a huge fan of his fiction work, but on writing changed my life as a writer and is easily his best work in my humble opinion. Dolores Claiborne. Book, The Shining. Short story, The Jaunt. No love for the Tomic Buggers. I would say Mr. Mercedes. Rose Matter and Misery are my personal favorites. The Talisman is my favorite. Thinner. This won't land on any backslash best. In. Love everything by King but Insomnia has always been my favorite. 
desperation slash regulators are a close second. I liked desperation, I found it quite entertaining and the characters very interesting. Doctor Sleep was surprisingly good too. Loved the stand, needful things too. Christine, it was about a car that came to life and it was incredibly scary, that takes talent. The Stand, no wait, November 22nd 63, sorry, I meant it. I'll just pretend those three books are an anthology. All of the Richard Bachman stories. For me, it has to be Revival, in, I personally liked Firestarter best, in my opinion, backslash children, the jaunt. It's one of his short stories, not a book, but it is the most terrifying backslash fate. For me it's a toss up between backslash the, the stand, the novella he, talisman, desperation, read it in high school for a required me. It's the stand it's only one of his books that will become a classic and the average person might well read it a 100 years from well on Stephen King scholars will read the rest. From a Buick 8, I just adore Sandy. Night Shift. I love how there are so many different answers on here, I'm in the middle of it and I just started the stand, both starts really slow but are really good. 1408, November 22nd 63 is my favorite, but Dr. Sleep is a strong second, I love that he has such a long career where you can see him evolve as a writer between the stories. I was so intrigued by November 22nd 63 that I read it straight through in a 15 hour marathon. Salem's Lot is up there for me. The Bill Hodges trilogy, Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keepers, and End of Watch, honestly the best. Edit, and has the best transition from hard-boiled detective story to his usual supernatural novels. Shinning or The Stand, Backslash The, the movie for it sucked ash but I loved reading Backslash Desperation Backslash The book was so freaking good I couldn't put it down. Loved the full version of The Stand book was fantastic so much better than the miniseries. Gerald's game as a book was absolutely amazing after reading it I thought how the frick are they ever gonna put this on screen but I haven't seen the movie. Survivor type. Gerald's game. Greater than exclamation point I tend to like stories with less supernatural elements. Also I liked how King treated the subject of incest. The character has all sorts of ambivalent feelings about the experience. I don't remember the exact quote but she says it made her feel like pork chops and applesauce or whatever foods don't go together. And how what happened after was worse than the actual abuse, when her dad tried to tidy all things up and persuade her to keep it a secret, which she was desperate to do, thus making her hate herself on top of having just felt totally violated. She picked a partner for her marriage who she didn't completely like but she didn't want someone too good, and it's understandable that he would be resentful of her of that. But he didn't just be justifiably indignant about it, he took his anger and was about to rape her. I thought all these details seemed really realistic about how someone who grew up with this kind of incestuous event would act, especially the martyr complex. As for all the horror elements of the story dot 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 I did find it one of the more horrific scenarios to be trapped in a bed with some hideous looking person in the corner who could kill you at any moment. Stand by me, Misery, the girl who loved Tom Gordon, Kujo, and the Shining are close runners up for me. Pet Cemetery scared the crap out of me as a teen reading it. Movie was awesome, too. Out of the ones I've read, Desperation, I hear The Stand is good as well. I also really like Under the Dome but some people didn't. Dreamcatcher, I really enjoyed the two separate stories about Mr. Gray in Jonesy's head and the rest trying to survive. Bro, definitely it. The Stand, hands down, interested in others' opinions. I would say it if not for the child bang bang in a sewer. Second place is The Shining, if only Reddit, The Shining, Pet Cemetery, Firestarter, and Kujo, only interested in his horror books really. Cycle of the Werewolf was really good. I loved Pet Cemetery, it's so different to others that he The writing in Tommy Buckers shocked me at 19, I could barely understand how someone could write so descriptively, it blew me away. Insomnia was some of the craziest she eyes I've ever read. While the dark half is my favorite just based on memories of when I discovered it I would say it. I love Duma T. Needful things. The two cliche answers are the stand and it, there's a reason they are cliche though, they are definitely his best. That's it, the Green Mile and some of the Dark Tower series, drawing a B3 and Wizard and Gresh, do come close. 
personal preference, I'd go with it, one of my favorite books of all time. Writing, a memoir of the craft. Needful things, I feel like Bag of Bones gets overlooked a lot, I love Stephen King, but I only found his book a couple years ago. It's the only Stephen King book I finished and immediately started rereading, the foreshadowing is a lot more subtle than his other books and when it all came together it hit me hard. Firestarter is so amazing and underrated, I've read it about a million times. Possibly a slight exaggeration P. His collections of short stories, I'm a sucker for good short story, a quick jab to the jaw. The Eyes of the Dragon is quite good, it's fantasy, and not horror, but it does what it sets out to do. Laura's Clayboard, backslash sometimes. The Talisman with the Stand coming in a close second, special mention for it. I read the latter as a kid and have never been able to watch any of the movies despite being a grown as man. It's a short story from his book Night Shift, called Jerusalem's Lot. Hands down the creepiest thing I've ever read, it's part of the Tulum Mythos, too. The Stand, has to be the Green Mile for me. I've read it at least five times. The characters got me so involved. I love The Shining and Doctor Sleep. I can't really explain it, I just loved them so much and didn't want to put those books down when I read them. I also loved both movies, despite the fact that they took completely different paths in terms of plot. Kind of sucks that Dr. Sleep didn't perform that well at the box office, 